We want to take a few minutes. I'm joined by um, President Pro Tem elect Kevin DeLeon, Senators Wolk and Pavley, uh, who have been the two Senate leaders uh, in putting together a water bond. As you know, uh, neither House was able to muster the necessary two thirds supermajority to get a water bond done now, but we intend to come back in August and do our very best to get this done. And Senator Wolk and Pavley have now put forward an amended bond from the $10.5 billion, uh, $10 billion bond that we presented last week. It is a $7.5 billion bond. It is certainly uh, close to the price point uh, that the governor uh, put out as, uh, as what he would like to see. Mo most important, it maintains the essential elements contained in the previous bond. And our message to uh, the water stakeholders and uh, the members, especially on the Republican side, is this. Uh, take us up on our offer to get a responsible water bond done as soon as possible when we return in August. Uh, we are ready to go. And uh, in, in the water world, you can't always get everything you want. But there's a whole lot in this bond that California needs. And uh, we look forward to uh, uh, talking to anybody from the other side of the aisle or the stakeholders over the summer recess to uh, finalize this and get this done when we come back. Senators, other senators. Thank you. Uh, as a primary author of 848, I just wanted to say that the basic principles that we started out with uh, continue. And that is we want to focus on the regional projects, the critical water projects that are needed in the state, throughout the state. And we want, want to make certain that uh, each community that has a drinking water, uh, water quality problem, or other things that they want taken care of will have the state's assistance in doing that. And that, after all, is what a bond is about. Uh, we also maintain uh, what you've heard out to be tunnel neutrality. That is, this is a bond that harms no part of the state, but in fact does a great deal of good uh, throughout the state. Uh, and uh, I, it is now, in, it will be in print tomorrow. It is uh, across the desk, and I would invite uh, the, entire, the public, as we have from the very beginning, to take a look at this, and we'd like to get this done. It's important to the state. Yes, I, I just wanted to uh, thank Senator Wolk for his leadership and, of course, Senator Steinberg and Senator De Leon. Um, Senator Wolk is absolutely right. It took the bond. We responded to the governor by dropping the cost of the bond by $3 billion. Essentially, uh, to put it in simple terms, the same categories are contained in the bond. It took proportional cut to reduce the measure per the governor's suggestion, and I think it's a very sellable bond to the community. It's not just about what we think in the leg legislature, but what does the public think? And when I go home, and I'm from Los Angeles and Ventura County, people want to see an investment in groundwater cleanup. That's what's in this bond, about $900 million. They want to see investment in stormwater capture and reuse. They really support regional solutions, increasing water supply and water quality. This bond is good for the whole state. We desperately need it in a drought situation. It includes, it includes monies that can roll out the door sooner than later. I think it's a very attractive bond, and I know all regions of the state will benefit from it. I think it passes on the ballot, and look forward to working with the uh, governor and uh, members of the Republican Party in getting this passed. We have till about August. Well, uh, we have till the first week of August when we return to get this done, because that'll give us enough time to take the old bond off the ballot uh, and, and its description out of the voter pamphlet. Uh, there is some flexibility in dates, but the sooner, uh, the, sooner the better. I just want to say, I just want to recognize, and I want to thank Senators Lois Wolk and Fran Pavley for their outstanding job, uh, for the, the hard work that uh, both of you and, and your staffs have invested uh, in uh, actually hammering on what we believe is an acceptable bond measure for the state of California, for the voters. 
want to give a special recognition, a much deserved recognition for our pro tem, uh, Daryl Steinberg, for being the glue and bringing everyone together. Now, the reality is water bonds are very difficult, very difficult and very complex. But this water bond, as crafted today, is a reflection of all the interests in the state of California, whether you're coastal, residents, whether you're in urban, rural, suburban, central, southern California, or northern California. Everyone gets something, not everyone gets everything that they want. But the reality is, living in a very complex and diverse state like California, the good thing is that we believe that there's a lot of good stuff in this uh, bond measure that many Californians, regardless of what region that you're from, will like very much. So we think the number, in terms of the actual uh, dollar, uh, will be palatable uh, to the voters in the state of California. So I'm just very thrilled and happy to be here with my colleagues, Lois Walk and Fran Pavley, but especially uh, with my good friend, Senator Daryl Steinberg, for helping stay keyed on uh, which is a very difficult issue so thank you. Thank you. What do you think about the tunnels? Are the tunnels going to happen? Everyone's saying tunnel neutrality that well, makes me think no one really well, wants the tunnels. Well no the point is that the tunnels are going to have their own pathway so to speak they process do. wise. In other words the tunnels really are about a permit process with the state and federal government and all we are saying is don't mix the bond together with the controversy over the tunnels. Californians, reasonable people can agree and disagree on the tunnel issue, but don't make the bond about the tunnels because our polling has been very clear. When you make it a north-south fight, when you make it about the tunnels, the bond goes from about 60 percent to just over 40 percent. We want to pass a bond because California needs it. So keep the, keep the debate separate. Well, you There's talked no about reason to have the fight about the tunnels about in this bond and at this time. The tunnel project is not, or whatever it is, the BDCP, whatever it turns out to be, is not yet approved. And it won't be probably for another year. However, what this bond is about is short-term and medium-term water needs that currently exist now. So why don't we just figure out what, we're all, what we all agree on that harms no part of the state but helps everyone and get that done. You talk about approval, you talk about permitting. Um, that there are people saying, well, if this bond gives money to projects that are needed for part of that approval process, the restoration, then it's not really tunnel neutral, it's pro-tunnel. That's correct. That's exactly the problem. There are, look at, there are a lot of stakeholders here that want it all. Well, we all want it all. I'd like it. I'd like everything in that chamber to be done my way all the time. Just doesn't, uh, doesn't usually work out that way. It requires compromise. And the compromise is an investment in storage, surface storage, which a lot of environmental groups and Democrats aren't thrilled about. But we give that mm -hmm. in exchange for tunnel neutrality. And then, oh, by the way, we spend billions of dollars on a whole host of things that everybody agrees on and that, and that we need. Look, at, a lot of stakeholders are betting that they can pass the existing $11.1 .1 billion bond from 2009. If that's the strategy, that's a heck of a risk to take on behalf of the millions of Californians who are depending upon additional water investment in this state. If that's what's going on, you know, hopefully the governor will weigh in in a major way uh, in August and, and help us uh, come together and get the two-thirds that is necessary. How much money is in the new bond for storage? Two billion dollars. Two. Senator, you're putting this out the day that the legislature is breaking for recess. So yes. can you tell me why you're releasing this now and what kind of work you intend to do during this month-long recess um, since you won't have everyone in the building to sort of well, around and negotiate? Well, we wanted to leave uh, before the recess making it clear that we're willing to come down from our $10.5 billion bond. That's number one. And, you know, uh, we'll be working during the summer. And uh, the idea is to come back uh, in August with a clear course and uh, to be able to get this done. It's going to take the governor too, really weighing in big time here, Senator, both, on the, both on the size but also on the contents. Senator, what, what, is, what do you see as the drop dead date without really creating a disruptive process for voters, right. having pamphlets that give them information about measures that aren't on the ballot and printing a supplemental ballot, all those, all those expensive like and confusing things? There, do you want to go? Okay. See you, Katie. Thank you. There are, there are two dates. One date is when the ballot uh, description 
in the uh, voter pamphlet can be moved. That's in relatively early August, I believe the 11th, the 11th. To actually take the measure off the ballot, it's later in August. But obviously, we don't want to have to wait until the end of August and have a description of the old bond in the, in the voter pamphlet while the measure is off the ballot. That would be confusing to people. But the absolute drop dead is the end of August. The practical drop dead is about the 11th or 12th, I think. How much is left for Delta Restoration? For Delta Restoration, there is 500 million and there is 350 for levies. In going back to the question I had asked mm -hmm. before, is, um, is in your mind, is Delta Restoration money, is that a neutral uh, aspect of the tunnel, or, or is this argument that restoration equals helping the tunnels, therefore pro-tunnels? What's your take on that? What is key for the Delta counties and the Delta region is that the Delta be at the table when the decisions are made about where and how restoration is done. That's what happens all over the country, and that's what happens, frankly, all over the state the local communities are involved. That's why the money for the restoration would go through the Delta Conservancy, which is a state agency like any other conservancy. But in fact, there are not a majority, but there are five members out of the 11 who are uh, members of the Delta community. They are s members of the boards of supervisors. In addition, we, we require that any restoration projects, have a local partner, cannot be done by eminent domain. These are not new things to any restoration project in California, but they are reiterated and made very strong in the section on the Delta, and the Delta counties support that. Have you gotten any uh, feedback from Republicans on this bond? Uh, uh, in, no, but in general, I know what they want. They, they want $3 billion worth of storage and they want the bond to not be tunnel neutral. That they, they've, been, they've been very clear. So that is not only does that, does that not give us the two thirds to get a amended bond through the legislature, it's also a recipe for failure at the ballot. And that's what we're trying to avoid. Now, if storage is the most important thing, we think we can accommodate that. We were willing to with the $10.5 billion uh, bond, which the governor said, okay, is too large. We're willing to do the storage. <clears throat> the tunnel neutrality is not just a matter of philosophy. It's, a, it, it's also a matter of practicality and political success. Because, again, the polling shows us very clearly if this becomes a north-south referendum, a bond is doomed to fail. And nobody, by the way, has rebutted the polling that we've put out publicly. Nobody's come forward with a different version. said, well, you know, you could do it differently and, and make this pro-tunnel and still pass a bond. Let's get done what we can get done. That's the art of politics, and, the, and, and that's how you make progress. Just to follow up on Katie's question, this proposal that you have now put out, you have not gotten any feedback on that $2 billion in storage from Republicans? Um, not, uh, I know they've, they've said very directly to me, they want $3 billion. Okay, well then we're going to have to talk to the governor about, uh, about upping the, the, the size of the bond. We're willing to go higher because we think we that, the, that we already did. <laughs> did. So this is why I say again that it's going to be important that the governor really get involved in this in a, in a major way. Um, and we'll figure out the, the price point, how much storage you can accommodate as a fair proportion of that price point. Um, Make sure that the Delta, and I think Senator Walk, we get caught up in the conservancy, which is important, but it's really the principle, I think, that she stated, which is that the Delta stakeholders must have a voice in how the Delta money is spent. And, and just to be clear, you're not interested in a, uh, to take the governor's number, a $6 billion bond where half of it is for storage, since that's something you're so skeptical of? Well, he said two. He said two. He said two but we, we think $6 billion is, is too low. We think seven and a half is... If you go down to six it's billion just right. and set aside two billion for storage, which is largely Central Valley storage, then that leaves only four for the rest of the state. And the number, the amount of need uh, and interest in groundwater uh, cleanup and management, uh, in recycling, and there's so many other needs in safe drinking water for the million people in the state of California who yeah. don't have access to clean drinking water. I mean, it's really hard at that point to be fair to the rest of the state. 
So, it, you know, again, we look forward to the leadership of the governor. We're glad he spoke on um, the six billion and two billion uh, guardrails. We appreciate that, um, and we welcome his engagement further.